going on guys Bailey Sawyer here and today I'm bringing you a brass knuckle review these in particular are called uh, Hell's Detective Knuckles you can see you know, they, they've got some wicked spikes on them it spells out alto on the top you know in each letter I'm pretty sure that can be seen there Brighting, brightness isn't really the greatest thing right now uh, these are some really nice knuckles for the price and you know if you're in the United States like I am they're really hard to get because they are illegal in pretty much every state but some states do have exceptions things like that where you can get them and use them and carry them with certain limitations and things like that like I know that there's some states where you can carry them and they're legal but if you use them on assault or to commit a crime something like that you get big jail time or something like that but if you were to use them in a self-defense case you're just fine so something about these knuckles is that the finish on them was pretty bad these started off as gold but they rubbed off very quickly and became a silver and then even weirder the silver started to rub off and become a copper sort of feel so I'm not entirely sure what the composition of these knuckles are I do know however that it's made of some sort of metal and these are designed, you know, to be to be flashy, to be, oh yeah, look at these. And I guess you'd say that they're designed as sending demons back to hell. Because if you look right here, you got the mark of the demon. Right over here you have a pentagram and the mark of the Templar over here. So I mean that's pretty cool. Then you have these two letters D and N. I don't know why those are there exactly. I mean, I thought it would, this was an eye, but then I came to realize that these were just links between the holes. And then down there at the bottom, it says hard ride, so I think that's pretty hilarious. Now, a lot of controversy about brass knuckles. They get a bum rap, especially about these. Now, I'm going to be honest, and, you know, I'm, it may make me sound sexist, but if you're going to pack something like these, and you don't want to get in trouble for them, you better be a very scrawny man or an elderly woman because if you even have remote upper body strength and you get caught with these oh man it's it's gonna be all kinds of bad so I'm not saying that you could bend the law based on um, your appearance or your body type but the odds of you actually getting in trouble for carrying something like these if you're an elderly woman or a young frail woman they're they're very much lessened. You'd probably just get a warning because I mean, shit. If you have nothing else, might as well use these if you're being attacked, right? And there's a lot of people that say you know it's a bitch move and things like that. To when when somebody else is using brass knuckles, but hey, when you're in a fight and somebody's trying to mug you, if you're not challenging them, anything goes. And in my book, that includes these. So yeah, that's just a little bit about the knuckles. And of course, I am going to be bringing you a test. This thing right here, and I hope my phone does not fall off when I do this. So I'm going to move it down a little bit. I'm going to see how much damage this thing could do. Don't worry, it has been emptied and just refilled with tap water because I know some people think that I'm wasting whatever. I've had that happen before, but don't worry. Just plain tap water. Here we go. All right. So I got a very severe tear all along the side here because my hand hit and then it slid across because it is, what was in here, canola oil so the inside is definitely a lot more slipper. I can feel it right now on my hands. But it hit here and it just slid across and tore this entire part open. Like I said, you don't want to be carrying something like this unless you're really weak. Because if that was you know, a person's face, they'd be needing some very serious stitches, broken jaw, things like that. So, you know, these are mostly for show. I would never use these against somebody on the streets. Maybe if somebody had broken in and I wasn't able to get to my firearm, this is something that I would grab really quick. But as far as, you know, actually trying to take these onto the streets, I would not recommend it. I'm going to see if maybe I could get one more good punch in there. Still some water. Ow. Okay. 
Okay, so in case you couldn't tell, water just splashed absolutely everywhere. I don't know if I made another hole, but all the water that was in there definitely came out. Yeah, I was not able to make another hole in it, but you know that's because there were plenty of openings for the water to go through. But you can see that there were some more holes made, some more spikes, and the water just blew out of here and the top got really bent it up. Bent. It's too early for this. So yeah, these things are very deadly and are not to be taken lightly. So I just wanted to make a cooler video about these. And I do have some that are legal in every state, and I'll get onto that later. But I just wanted to show you guys some that weren't legal, and, you know, just, just have some fun. So, thank you guys so much for watching, like, comment, and subscribe for more weapons videos, as well as video games, things of that nature. So, I'm Bailey Sawyer, and I'll see you guys next time.